Opponents are calling the move a sneak attack. On Friday in August, when everybody's on vacation and no one's paying attention, it wasn't even on the agenda of the Pinelands Commission. In an otherwise routine meeting by the Pinelands Commission, staff issued a certificate of filing to South Jersey Gas. The utility company is at the heart of a controversial plan to build a 22-mile natural gas pipeline along roads through the Pinelands. The ruling means the application is complete and ready for review. It also means it'll move forward without a vote from the same board that previously struck it down. Let me put it this way. If they thought they had the votes on the commission, she wouldn't take, the, take away the authority of the commission to vote on this. The original application by South Jersey Gas was rejected by the commission in January after it found inconsistencies with the Pinelands Protection Act. So, South Jersey Gas reapplied in May, seeking the certificate of filing. Critics, like members of the Pinelands Preservation Alliance, argue the plan hasn't changed. The project just found a way to circumvent the process. The Pinelands rules regulate where infrastructure can go. It's a fundamental part of the Pinelands because we know that when you build it, they will come. Whatever you say today as to who will use this pipeline, once you've built it, in the future, it will be an attraction for growth and development and pressure to further change the rules, to further violate the regulations in order to uh, build more in the Pinelands protected areas. That's why it's so important. Not so fast, says the Pinelands Commission Executive Director. We have been explaining the process for this particular certificate of filing since it came through the door in May at one, if not two, meetings every month. In detail at one meeting, for about half an hour, we spent going over the process for this private application. So this was not a surprise. Nancy Wittenberg has been taking heat since the announcement and says the filing is not an approval, that the company made changes to follow Pineland's regs. That new piece of information, which was the contract that verified ironclad that all the gas was going to be in England and was going to be consumed in the Pinelands. That was the, that was the issue that caused the rub in the first place. This time they submitted uh, firm documentation addressing that very issue. So there wasn't a reversal. Environmental groups say that's not possible when the plant, BL England, provides both power and gas to counties outside the Pinelands region. It has to be for primarily use within the forest preservation area. Well, this pipeline goes to a power plant that's not in the forest preservation area. Critics also fear the public comment portion will be taken away, to which Wittenberg assures it will not. Opponents plan to take legal action, and they're looking at options to fight this in court. For NJTV News, I'm Brianna Venosi.